Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Carrier Command 2. Today, we're going to be talking about the update of 1.0.8, where they've added a lot of stuff when it comes to the aviation side of the game, along with other small features. Some of the features include, like, zoom on your cameras for cannons, and a bunch of other stuff to prevent you from aviation falling over the side or just basically crash it. So, I'll pull up the notes here in a minute and we'll go over the notes and just have a small little brief play. So here you can see the notes. Um, you got a little bit of a list of a rework for AA missiles, so only target airborne units, which is really nice. Because in that case, you don't have to worry about it targeting surface vessels for an immediate threat to the carrier anymore. Uh, they've reworked the IR missiles to only target units on the surface. Uh, rework of improved wing vehicle attack behavior. Air vehicles now fly at 400 meters altitude when returning to the carrier to avoid ground collision. Which I don't know about any of you, but I've had them crash into a mountain, an island, and all kinds of crap. So I'm glad that that was implemented. Wing vehicles now stagger altitude when in a holding pattern to avoid air to air collision. So that way they don't have you know, run all over and top each other. Uh, reduced music volume by 50%, which, you, let's be honest, it was extremely loud. Improved target, target locking. Oh, torpedo target locking. Oh, can't English today. Improved missile target locking. Improved rotor gun run behavior. Which I'm going to show a brief little play of that. Uh, wing vehicles no longer occasionally crash during an attack run. Which is really great for your albatrosses. Because I've had them crash in a mountain so many times when they were going to fly down and shoot a walrus or a bear. Uh, Mantas no longer crash on a wait order. I've had mine plummet straight into the ocean because they didn't have anything to do. Straight kamikaze style. Uh, various English tick fixes. Helicopters are now very unlikely to crash when landing, which I've had my razor bills crash so many times. It was so annoying. Uh, air vehicles now correctly trigger rocket pods. AI noisemakers no longer expire too quickly, which uh, I think before they were only doing like 30 seconds, which was hardly anything. Server carrier vehicle lift position now starts in the correct position. So before they were like floating in midair, it's kind of pretty trippy. Uh, manufactured barges now spawn with the correct type of camera. Resolved AI land and sea units running out of fuel. Vehicle state correctly restored when loading game for aircraft currently taking off. I actually had it multiple times where my aircraft would be in mid takeoff and I load the game and all you could see is a cartwheel down flight deck. Uh, correct velocity applied to launching aircraft to make uh, takeoff more smooth. Set correct power and gear state to vehicles when force docked. Vehicle control screen no longer centers to enemy carrier when tagged. Vehicle IDs wrap at 999 in screen UI to fit in layout. And for the VR people out there, added zoom to weapons cameras. You can now scroll through your inventory and you can now scroll through your radar range. Which I've heard a lot of people complaining about. Now, with that being said, I'm pulling up on a two shield island and I'm just going to be, uh, basically taking it over so if you care to watch please feel free if not please check out some of my other videos on carrier command 2 and i hope you enjoy the show that being said i'm gonna put it in a small time lapse just so you can see but i'm just gonna be basically briefly going through some of the changes that they made such as torpedo lock procedures Razor Bill's attack patterns, same with albatrosses and mantas. So, as you can see, there's a swordfish right in front of me. And we'll go take the island and see you at the end. Have a good day, everybody.
Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, I've taken control of the island. Overall, I would say that I absolutely love the update. I think they did an amazing job on the reworks for the aviation vehicles. As, as you saw, the vehicles are work splendidly now. So thank you, Carry Command 2, for implementing all the features that we've been asking for. And I look forward to seeing more future updates. Stay tuned for future updates on the channel and any further information that you may have. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. You can also join the Discord and ask me questions there anytime you have any kind of questions. Other than that, if you did enjoy this video, please show me your support by liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the open seas. Have a great day, everyone.